is going to be the most uh, impromptu introduction video I've ever done. So I'm one of those people that absolutely loves eggnog, whether it's store-bought or homemade, I need it this time of the year. And guess what? Organic Valley did all the hard work and bottled up that traditional taste for me. <laughs> Y'all, not everybody in my house loves the texture of eggnog, but they all love the flavor. I don't get it. Whatever. With my eggnog in stock, I made an eggnog cheesecake with all my favorite Christmas flavors. To my usual graham cracker crust, I added ginger snaps that delivered a little element of Christmas spice. To my cheesecake base, I swapped my usual sour cream for eggnog and a little extra nutmeg. And since I'm on a roll, I created an eggnog buttercream and topped it all with a vanilla bourbon pearly sauce. This <laughs> was a win, y'all. So I believe it's safe to say that from now on, you can refer to me as your Southern Peppermint Patty. I think that's adorable. Whatever. Have y'all ever been to those steakhouses where they bring you like the hot bread and the sweet butter or the cinnamon butter? Y'all, I was thinking for my like Christmas appetizer, I could do a brioche bun like Christmas wreath with a cranberry butter made from like cranberry sauce a homemade cranberry sauce and that's exactly what I did every time I see these bread reefs they're never braided so I thought this would be super cute to add and look it came out adorable y'all add this to your menu maybe it should be for brunch I don't know Y'all, my mom's mac and cheese is a Christmas favorite that I never wanted to learn how to make because if I'm being honest I only want hers. <laughs> I'm sure we all have a dish like this, but I feel like at some point, I'm gonna wanna give her a break from me begging her to make it, so here we are. I kept her on the phone and she walked me through every detailed step. I made this crouton-like topping that was so delicious and a perfect super cheesy sauce to incorporate to my pasta. Y'all, and she literally told me, hey, make sure you remove about a handful of noodles before you add in your cheese sauce, because otherwise you're going to ruin the ratio of mac to cheese. Mama, what? Y'all, I love to cook, but for some reason when she said this, I was instantly nervous about the outcome of my macaroni. <laughs> but I did it. It came out very good. It's never going to be as great as hers. I'm going to let her to be the reigning champ, but I'll take the second best. Y'all, Christmas is in three days, and I don't know about your house, but our family over here and our friends and their kids love to visit around this time. And well, I need baked goodies to showcase for the holiday weekend. So I was thinking, why not do a red velvet cake, but add a little green to it? Now we have a red and green red velvet cake. Is that too many words? Probably. But in order for me to double it up, I did a four layer six inch cake and did two red and two green. Y'all, I don't know what it is about the holidays that make me really want to make holiday themed desserts, but it seems to make my house happy. At least I think it does. Y'all, maybe it makes me happy. Whatever. <laughs> From my sweet tooth to yours, I wish you the happiest of holidays and a happy new year. Bye, y'all. Go, go bake. You still have time. You still have time to go get these simple ingredients to make this simple cake and show off. Y'all, show off. Show off this holiday. <laughs> Bye.